Hey you guys, welcome back to Angel Angela and on this topic I wanted to talk about the narcissist illusion of value, having value for themselves, the, the delusion of value. The narcissist is delusional. A lot of times you're with these people and you're like, they're delusional. A lot of times you're dealing with a narcissist who's been there, done that, has children, but they're expecting so much of you. They're acting like, hey, if this is not what you're going to give me, I don't need to be with you. I could be with anyone else. There's this delusion. They're with you for years for a reason because they don't have value the way you think they do. And I'm really upset because I deleted this whole video and I got to start all over again from scratch. But here we are because it's the truth. One thing I regret the most, and I'm saying this so that other people don't, because I have to live with this for the rest of my life, is that I allowed the narcissist to destroy everything good in my life, my family, my friends, my my career. I, I allowed this person to destroy me because I listened to them. Every time they told me I wasn't good enough, I wasn't as good as this person. They were comparing me. I'm not that smart. I'm only book smart. All those things affected me. And, and I, you know, and I wondered when the relationship was over, why would someone do that to me? They were jealous of me as a woman. They were jealous of my, of my opportunities that I had. But they claim that all, everyone tried to destroy them while trying to do the same to you. That's why you have to be careful with these men out here who consider themselves valuable, who consider themselves the prize. They are not the prize. You know, a lot of women get a lot of backlash when you have children with by other men. They're like people are looking at you like your value went down. They're looking at you like anybody who wants to get with you, especially if you don't have a career, they want to use you. They want to use you for a place to sleep. They want to use you because they know that man is on child support. You know, for those women who get away, they have a bad experience and they get away and they level up. They run across people that are leveled up just like them. That's the only reason they were able to save themselves from that, from the, from that horrible choice. You know what I'm saying? Um, me going through a miscarriage, I also feel like the narcissist purposely tried to destroy me and hurt me um, because they knew what they were doing. You know, they knew that um, they knew that I shouldn't even had had a child with them. First of all, that's what they what they did know, and um, what they tried to do is they tried to destroy me. Um, because they knew that I left without any, you know, I, I left the relationship without any ties to them. Um, the narcissist is not the prize. They're far from that. When you're with them, they make you believe that they're the prize. Any woman would be glad to be with them. They make it seem like, hey, I have children. I take care of them. It's, it's, there's nothing wrong with being a man and having children, um, you know. It's more of a bad thing to be a woman with children. They almost make it seem like you're not the prize because you have children and, um, and, and, you know, and they make it seem like they can come into your home and use you and take advantage of your children. Um, and, and somehow their children are better than yours. Uh, somehow, you know, they're trying to make you believe that they're the prize and they take very good care of their children. They're involved in their children's life. Their um, their children know, their children know about them, and that's that was another thing with me. It's the narcissist convinced me by bringing their children around me that they were a good dad, that they were a good provider, and it's all a show. It's all a shit show, you know. What you don't know is that the narcissist doesn't financially help their children. They'll do what they can to get by and keep feeding up, feeding stories to these women so that these women don't put them on child support. They have became aggressive, violent to the point where these women might feel like this person might get violent for me just putting them on child support. So I, um, I'm not going to do that because to them, to the narcissist, they're not the prize. They're like, 
they're like, everything has been stolen from me. No one told me about this. I, I ended up being like my father and I, I didn't want to be like them. I don't even like him, you know? And then they hate their mothers for the choices that they've made. And then here you are, someone who has value, regardless of what they say about you, you have value and they try to lower your value down while you're with them on purpose because they're jealous. They're jealous men, they're haters. And they, they really have no value themselves. And here you are thinking, oh, well, they're involved in their kid's life. You're being gaslit by this person. Um, you know, they, they will start triangulating you even with their kids, doing nice things for them. And you're wondering, you know, you haven't done anything for me in a while. And now it's an excuse to gaslight you and make you feel like, Hey, I have responsibilities and you're trying to, you're, my responsibilities come first. You're trying to, you know, knock me off my game. Now they're placing you as, as this hater, as this bottom feeder, but it's really them who's bottom feeding. You know, they're using people and acting like they have value. They try to make it seem like they're so much better than you. Like they could go and get another supply that's better than you. You know, um, so a lot of times they know in the back of their head, if I don't play my cards right with the women I had children with, they're going to put me on child support and my value is going to lessen. It's already my value. I already don't have any value because I can't take care of my responsibilities. I don't have value. And then on top of that, these women are giving me a chance to get a good job and work and do things. But all I'm doing is I'm creating another life somewhere else to buy me time, which is lowering my value. So now they're mad at you because they made the same mistake over and over again. That's what you're dealing with. Someone that's taking out their anger out on you and lowering your value. And you're thinking, oh, well, it seems like all the women with children get the most help. And you're living recklessly thinking, you know, nothing's going to happen to me. You know, if, if, if the narcissist walks away, at least I had a child. Because that's what I used to think until I realized how, how hard life is. And it's harder when you're, when you're, when, when now you know, the government has became a child to your, to your, uh, a father to your child, you know? So these people don't have value and that's why they lower your value. That's why they're considered con artists because women don't get that type of respect when they have children with multiple people. So why should you um, give a man who has nothing to offer your children or your future children or your, 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 your lifestyle why should you why should you put them on a pedestal when women don't even get that and women have a lot of value for themselves just for being women so you're dealing with delusional delusional men who hate you for being a woman when they should be hating their dads they should be hating themselves because they can't break out of that spell because they feel like if I go and do the right thing, I'm not going to be living the kind of life I want to live because I'll just be buying and taking care of, of children that are mine, but who I'm not connected to because I'm not living in that household. So why should I do that? That's dumb. I rather just look out for myself. And then that's why they'll never connect to anyone because they're always looking out for themselves. They don't have any value. They don't have nothing to give. They can't give you anything. And that's why they're narcissists because they can't give. They're takers. So, you know, um, to make long story short, you guys, and that was my biggest mistake, thinking that this person had value and allowing them to break me down. So I'm sending you guys lots of love, light, peace.